Hello, welcome back. If you have trouble staying motivated when you're studying or learning English, then in this video, I'm going to help you with some tips and ideas on how you can stay motivated. I know when you reach a certain level, like advanced level or intermediate level, it can be more difficult to stay motivated. Now, how can you keep your motivation when you reach these levels and feel like this, feel like you're not improving anymore. Firstly, of course, make learning fun. Make it interesting for you. Learn in a way that you enjoy. For example, if you enjoy reading books, watching movies, YouTube videos, etc. Do something that you enjoy, that's fun for you. Or you can learn using particular topics that you're interested in or that you need to know. For example, you might learn about science and health like I do or you might like to learn about fashion, traveling, history, etc. Whatever is interesting for you. If you want to learn English for traveling, then of course it would not be interesting for you to learn business English, for example. And likewise, if you need to learn English for a presentation, then learning travel English might not be useful for you. I know, I know, I hear you. I have to study so much grammar. It's so boring, but I have to do it. Then you can vary or change the way you study. Variety is the spice of life. So you could study using some different techniques as it is boring just to do the same thing over and over again. Just reading a textbook all the time, eh, it might be boring. So instead, you might find other example sentences on the internet or you could even write your own sentences. And you could spice things up or make them more interesting by writing some fun sentences. Don't be afraid to go crazy. Have some fun. I remember learning Spanish from a children's dictionary many years ago. And I still remember there was a sentence, uh, hay un penguino en tu lavamanos. And it was to learn the word uh, lavamanos, which means basin or sink. And there was a picture of a crazy penguin splashing around in the sink. So I still remember that from a long time ago. Now, in order to see your progress, it is important to set small goals. And these goals must be achievable goals, easily achievable goals. For example, you might have a long-term goal of learning vocabulary, learning maybe three or 4,000 words. It's a lot. So it's really too difficult to think about that. So instead, Take it step by step. So maybe learn two or three words a day or 10 or 20 words a week. And then it's easier to see your progress. You have achieved that goal, then move on to the next one, the next one. So step by step, you can see your progression, your improvement. Or if you're learning grammar, just learn one grammar form every day or two. So in a week, you might learn three or four forms. In a month, what's that? 15, maybe 20 forms, you get the idea. Step by step, you build upon things gradually and you can see your improvement, see your progress. So if your goal is maybe watching your favorite movie without subtitles, watch small parts, just one or two minutes at a time and go back and watch it again. And then when you understand that part, then move on to the next part and gradually you'll begin to understand the movie. If you just watch everything and expect to understand everything at once, it's too much and you might lose interest. The other important thing is to use what you've learnt. So use it because it's fun, but also use it so you don't forget it. Use it or lose it, we say. That brings us to the next part. It's often better to study for a shorter period. If you have to study for a long time, it is easy to lose focus or lose interest. For example, 10 or 15 minutes a day is usually better than one or two hours on the weekend. This is often better for remembering what you've learnt as well because you are constantly reinforcing, you're constantly reviewing or thinking about what you've done. I know, I understand, you all have busy lives too. So it is also important to find something or find a way that fits in with your schedule. The most important thing is to be consistent. So to keep doing it, and then you will be able to see your progress. Another great thing to do 
when you feel like you're not improving is challenge yourself. Often we learn how to say something one way and we get a bit lazy and comfortable with that and we only use that way. I know I definitely do this. I did this a lot I think when I was in Japan. I got to a certain level of the language and just became comfortable. It worked so I didn't really progress. Therefore, it's good to learn to say something in different ways. For example, if you usually say good, you could say great or fantastic, amazing. There are so many words. This will show you that you're learning new things and it makes things more interesting. Remember, variety is the spice of life. I really do like that expression. Now we come to the special secret. It's a bit strange, but I encourage you to make mistakes, yes. You heard me, make mistakes. It's really important. Don't worry about making mistakes. Don't feel bad, don't feel discouraged. Everybody does it. You're not alone. When you make a mistake, have fun with it. Make a joke about it. And then you're more likely to try again in the future and to remember the correct way of saying that thing. Well, we've come to the end. I hope that's given you some ideas on how to regain or stay motivated. Let me know in the comments below how you like to stay motivated. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.